Embroidery Toolshed offers a variety of preset shapes for your microfont text. Let's take a look. Select the text tool and click on your text. Right click to access the envelopes. These are all preset shapes that are very popular for embroidery. We have pen it right and pen it left. You'll notice that the letters are smaller on the right hand side and larger on the left. You can further manipulate that by just dragging one of the squares on the outside handle. And of course you still have the ability to move all those letters by using the blue diamonds. Anytime you mess up, just undo and you'll be right back where you started. So we could separate that line a little bit more. Let's take a look at curved down. You're going to get somewhat of a, a smile here and curved up will be the opposite. You'll notice on the curves we have a green circle at both the top and the bottom and that allows you to left click and drag and accentuate that curve. The opposite here or you can pull it out like that but there is a preset shape available for that same look. Let's go over and take a look at bridge concave top. Again I have to have that text tool selected and then right click and select bridge concave top. Now you'll notice that you have uh, in the center of the design at the top you have to, a curve and on the bottom you're going to have the opposite of that. And on double concave now it expands on the outside edges and shrinks in the center. There's another group of shapes that are preset and let's go ahead and turn on our realistic and I have my text tool selected and then right select the design and then right click on envelope and we have bridge convex top. So now you'll notice that it's taller in the center and shorter on the outside of the design. Bridge concave bottom gives you the opposite effect and then double bridge shrinks it in the center. Again, we can change this look, exaggerating one side, exaggerating both sides. Um, you can shrink in that center a little bit more if you'd like. And again, all of your other tools are available here for you to use. Like if we want to rotate that one letter, you most certainly can. And undo will take you back to where you originally were. That undo and redo are your friends. Use them as often as you want. When customizing text shapes, use the grid. Turn on the text tool and make your change, right? So we're going to make the B quite a bit larger. And now I'll turn on my grid and take the select tool and place that B on a baseline. I want to do the same change to the M so that the design is symmetrical. So I'll just pull that down and now my outside letters are aligned on the same plane. Perfect. A fun feature to add to text is the stare feature. With the text selected, place a check mark in the field stairs in the properties box and then click apply. You'll notice that now your letters are descending the stairs. So let's exaggerate that a little bit and do 100 for the line spacing. Now you can see a very obvious stairs. Now what if you want to go in the opposite direction? So let's undo all of that. And now in line spacing, let's put a negative 100 and click apply. Now your stairs are ascending.